One of the most important places for any patient at a hospital is the room that they stay in. And here at the mock-up, we do have a single patient room, and I'm here with Sylvia Rogers, who is a chief nursing officer, to tell us a little bit about the new features in these rooms. Sylvia, tell me a little bit about the feature of this room, and we're going to start with the door, because I understand the door is unique. Well, thanks for asking, Michelle. What's really great about this door is how wide it is. So uh, in building this mock-up, we uh, thought about everything that we needed to think about for efficiency uh, of the workflow, but also comfort of our patients. So what's great about this door is the width. We can uh, easily transport a patient in their bed through the doorway, and also that the doorway doesn't open directly into the hallway. In our current hospital setup, all the patient rooms open into the hallway, okay. and every time you exit a room, you run the risk of getting... Of getting into the flow of traffic uh, and yeah, that kind of thing. A big cart coming at you, stretcher, wheel Chair. And the doors, so the doors open into the room, so that's really quite helpful. And, and, and I, that was actually one of the first things I noticed was how wide, how the, wide the doors are. So when you come into the room, but there's a lot of little features hidden in the room that are really unique. Tell me a little bit about some of them, or okay. where should we start? Um, well, where we should probably start with is at the entrance to the room, because the first thing you see is the hand hygiene station here. So we have both a hand hygiene sink for uh, staff and visitors to wash with soap and water. Also hand sanitizer. Hand hygiene is our number one safety priority right now. So uh, we want people washing their hands when they enter the room. We want them washing their hands when they exit the room. We want the patient to be able to visualize this so that they can see that our caregivers and right. visitors are washing. And we have gloves here for easy access. So that's the first, uh, first thing, most important thing. Um, We've even tested this sink out. We've had it attached to water. We've made sure there's no splashing on the floor. Uh, yeah, we I was know noticing that, that it was quite deep and that I, that's for to prevent splashing and slips yes. and that kind yeah. of thing. Yep. Let's say I'm coming to visit mm -hmm. someone and I've wanted to wash my hands. I come in here mm -hmm. and uh, my friend or family member is here. What, what would be unique about their stay here? Well, what we've tried to do in creating these single patient rooms is keep the comfort of the patient and the family in mind, but also the efficiency of our, our healthcare workers. So um, it is a very spacious room mm -hmm. um, compared to our current setup. Um, there's privacy, obviously. We have a privacy curtain um, for patients who want the door open but still don't want to be visible from the hall. And what's uh, unique about this space is we have a dedicated space for the family. And um, we don't, we currently in our hospital setup have challenges with families who want to stay overnight and their loved one is in a, a semi-private room or a ward room with, with three other patients. There is no good space for them to sleep overnight. They often end up sleeping in a chair, sitting upright. Um, here we have a pull out, we have a space for the family, but also uh, the ability to pull this out into a full, uh, oh, wow. full-size uh, single bed, the foam mattress flips out, the pillow comes off. It's a, it's a comfortable space for family. Um, we really wanted to create uh, a comfortable environment for our patients. What's unique about this room is the size of the windows. Mm -hmm. um, we, in our uh, original mock-ups, these windows weren't so big and we worked hard to get a window that was cut out down to almost the floor so that when the patient is sitting in their bed, they can actually enjoy the view from their window and see right down to the landscaped grounds, oh, okay. which is orienting it, rather than just seeing clouds. Oh, you can exactly. actually see some uh, some activity People coming uh, down and below. Going yep. and, that's yeah. and really enjoy the beautiful views that we are going to see from our new patient care tower. Is there anything unique about the, uh, about the bed? I'll tell you what's unique about this is that there's space around the bed. Mm. So for caregivers who want to approach and examine a patient, they can approach from this side of the bed, they can approach from that side of the bed. Um, in our current uh, two bed rooms, there's, the curtains are very close. The oh, two okay. beds in the room are very close together. There's no privacy for patients. The, the pri we call them privacy curtains, but they're a thin curtain. Right. And, well, I can uh, even see, like, if I was a family member and, and you know, you would come in to tend to a patient, like, there's still so much room between us mm -hmm. that I'd, I wouldn't feel necessarily that I was getting in your way. That's right. And that's why the family have their own space here. Their they're own little and, corner. It, and they're put there. So they're not in the way of the caregivers. Mm -hmm. Um, absolutely, we'd like to involve them in care where we can, but they don't need to feel like they need to get up and move and get out of the way um, anytime that there's going to be an interaction in the room. So, the first, my first impression of this washroom is it's kind of big. It's very big, actually. Nothing that I, I wouldn't have expected to see a washroom this big in a, in a hospital room. Well, it's quite spacious, but we wanted this bathroom to be accessible to patients who are in wheelchairs or using assistive devices like walkers. So, we have, again, a wide entrance and lots of space. So, we made sure there's good 
ability to turn and position wheelchairs. And also um, for features like the toilet, we wanted to make sure it was set out from the wall enough that you could actually have two caregivers assisting someone right. onto or off of the toilet. So that's why the bathroom is, is spacious. It is accessible for people who have um, who need to use mobility devices. And there's an open shower in here as well, and that's that's a new thing that I, I think you're looking forward to. Yeah. Well, uh, in our current environment, uh, we, we're lucky if we have only like one or two showers in a whole uh, patient care unit. So to have a shower for each patient is pretty exciting. And it has um, our shower in this bathroom. It has there's lots of safety features built in. So there's no lip around the shower. Hour. there's nothing to trip over the floor gently slopes to the drain so someone can have a shower uh, there's no um, trip hazards uh, we can shower people in a chair or we can move the shower head up to the wall and people can stand and have a shower in the way that we do at home that's great yeah I'm curious about this what is this well this is a very exciting new feature for us it is the bed pan sanitizer so it is a single touch device oh. We can uh, put a soiled bedpan in, into here. We press the button, it closes, it washes, flushes, and sanitizes the bedpan. And that, it's gonna, that must be a big, huge thing. It means not carrying the pan down the hall ah, into well. a traditional soiled utility room. Wow. Yeah, so this is really exciting and these are for us. In, and this is in every single bathroom in every single room. That's right. In every, sing, every patient room, bathroom, we'll have a bedpan sanitizer. What are you looking forward to most in the new hospital? Oh, well, there's so many things. Um, I think that we will be able to provide a more comfortable experience for our patients and that our staff will have uh, such a wonderful place to work in. There's just so many features that are um, improvements and enhancements over um, our current state that uh, each one uh, has its own, own little bit of excitement, but uh, yeah. And the best part is you had a lot of say in what elements were put in the room or maybe not put in the room so that it's made it easier for you and your staff. Yeah, I'll, uh, the one thing I will say is the entire team at Halton Healthcare Services has been engaged in designing this new hospital and the amount of input from the entire health professional team into the design and layout of this room has been phenomenal. I don't think there's, I hope there's nothing we've missed. Um, but it is pretty exciting, and it is the uh, the end result is um, is pretty much based on the input of everybody um, who's been involved in the project. Sylvia, thank you so much for giving us a tour of this room. It's a really interesting thing to see what's going to be coming in the new hospital. Well, I'm glad to have had the opportunity. Thanks, Michelle.